Introducing RAG App. Now this is a very simple, easiest way to build your own AI agent. They call it Agentic RAG for any enterprise. Now you can build your updated content when the AI models have not get any specific content of your company or any knowledge. You can do that building a knowledge base within this RAG and is able to serve as your own specific AI agents to do certain tasks for your companies or whatever that you need. Now you can create this and connect to open AI APIs, calling the chat GPT to work for you. You can run this locally using Alama to running in everything in your own local machines or your private cloud servers, whatever you need to run on and you can able to do that. And the endpoint in here, one of the very interesting things that there's an admin UI panels that is for configuring the RAG importing new information, updating the knowledge base of the RAG. And there's a UI for the chat UI, which is very similar like chat GDP that you get a, you have a chat area that users can type message chat with the AI can inquire what kind of information that have in the knowledge base, etc. And there's an API called using this endpoint that is pre-built already in this reg app project. Now you can use that as your own private API call and integrating with your other software, other mobile apps that you have. So let's get started. How do you run this thing? Now first we can simply use Docker to create a container and file images for the rec app. Basically you are going to the command prompts windows, type Docker run and just type this line and you are ready to build that without any problems because everything are independently installed in this container. Now I have that already installed in the meanwhile, while I'm talking about this app and it's up on the server running right now, as you can see, it is right here. The rag app is already built and we click on the container. We click the action, start this container server and we will have the port numbers and as well as the link. Once we click this link, it will redirect us to the end user's location. The interface that we have just mentioned, the chat UI. And if you want to go to the admin UI, basically you can type the slash admin at the end in here to access these areas. And based on this, you can build your knowledge base in here. And you can enable Go Go Duck search tools and Wikipedia to acquire some updated information that, you know, some local large language models have not been getting the update information while they are training. So in this case, I am using the Olama as my backbone serving the large language models. And you can use Gemini OpenAI as well. And in my case, I'm selecting the Olama and putting the internal Docker URL that is connected to the Olama server. Once we done this, we select the models that we want to use. So for example, I have few models here and also I got two fine tuned models and let's check out using lumber three as a general inquiry for my rag in here. And right in here, the configurations is custom prompt for pre prompting template. Allow the large language models to know what it's going to do. You can be as specific as you can. You can be very simple. Like this one sentence for this demos, I will just keep it simple and the agent configurations. And again, you have to enable the web search. If you have external information, you want to inquiry on the internet and allow the agents to do that as well. Here, the knowledge is going to be the sections for you to upload files of whatever RAG knowledge base you want to build and embed it on top of the large language models. And once it does, it will store in the RAG app Docker container within the storage. Right now, I have so far I test that it is only able to support some plain text files. For example, the TXT files. I have tried to upload the Microsoft Doc Word files, but is unable to upload that in here. It will prompt me in an error. So let's say I got a Neo Diffusions model. Talk about the Pole ID. The Pole ID is another face detection and face swap diffusions research paper. And I have imported that one in here as a knowledge base and we can do some app inquiry inside this app. You can do that in the right side of this chatbot as the admin panel, or you can use the end users UI chat as well. So let's go to the UI chat and we can see what is going on. 
So right here, we can see the UI chat come back to here and we can type some message like so. I'm going to ask the rec to explain me what is this about and hopefully it got some right answer for me. So let's wait for the generations while the GPUs processing going online and search whatever it needs even in the knowledge base that I input. And here we have the things. So looks like it is not relevant to what I am importing is going to use public library information destination that will be something that search online from Wikipedia that is not from my knowledge base here. So that is a bad examples. So let's go start the app again. So by default is always go online. If we are enable the web search functions that is enabled. So the next inquiry I did is what is YOLO models in AI? So I gotta be more specifically to tell the AI models that I want to find out about and know the things about that. And right here, it create this inquiry showing us the events, calling the tools inquiry, the engine tools, finding the inquiry about my questions. It retrieved three source of context information and summarized the whole thing for me. And yeah, this is like a helping assistance that you can inquire things. And I think this is a very simple app not a complex RAG app like other RAG builder framework. If you want to start getting in touch with large language models running your private local host cloud server, maybe this is a good starting point. And it's very easy to configure. It's not too much complex like the other RAG app or just seeing the command prompts windows that you have to type all kinds of command things. This is going to be, you know, very easy to configure. So if I turn it off the so if I turn it off the GoGoDuck and Wikipedia, it won't allow the AI agent to search online and find source online. It will only force the AI agents to inquire any information from my knowledge base here. So let's say I, let's ask again about what is YOLO model in AI and see if it's able to provide any information. Yeah, so the, the results showed in here that is referencing by my source information of the YOLO 10 TXT, which I have provided in the knowledge base in here. Now using the admin panel view is more clear to see what happened and going on, which compare with the user's chat view. This is not going to be have any chance to see more details and I prefer using on the admin side is more better. You can real time update any information on the knowledge base as well and it helps you to prepare all the information make it as small as context and put it into the knowledge base allow the large language models to do searching in this knowledge base and find the information that relevance for you so i think this is a pretty good ai assistance for content content writing and also the researching purpose so this is another one called rag app very similar to what we mentioned before open web UI stuff like other reg app, but this more simple user interface, just only one page only. And uh, yeah, I think this is very beginner friendly and hope you guys have get started to building your own knowledge base and rag. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a nice day. See ya.